Good morning. 9.40 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Friday, November 1st, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. It's a, it's a cold start to the day a little bit here today. I'm going to have to deal with the wind, but we've got a lot to talk about. XRP is up about 1.9% after the drop-off yesterday. We haven't paired all losses. But XRP did have 1 billion XRP released from escrow by Ripple. So first things first, let's take a look at the analysis. We'll take a look at what XRP is showing, where it came back up to because it back tested the drop point now. So now we need to see if we can get break past over this or if we push back up. We, we just, we came right down to that technical move down. We hit 50.2 cents. I had it at 49.9. I'm not gonna split hairs, so that's we tap that and we'll just make that the new support now at 50.22. And then let's just say we have an overzealous, let's say this is a rejection point. If it's a rejection, we're not saying it is, I'm just saying. If it gets used as a rejection, that could be the technical drop. But right now we're looking to see if this is a case of we're back testing the resistance, which oftentimes if you're having a breakout and you have broken out of a formation, you'll back test it. If you break down, it's the same theory. You back test it to see if it's a bearish breakdown or if you can retake the established bearish zone and start pushing back up in a positive direction. If we look at the all time chart, we never came back down to 48 cent area. We've managed to hold. We're back over the 51.5, which is a big pivot point. And now we need to see if we can push back up towards that 53.40 and see if we can retake that. Right now, it's very interesting to see how we close this week. It'll be very, very interesting. We need to do a couple things of reading, though. We'll take a look at the Bitcoin liquidation map in a second. But first, I because that's going to be something I'm adding into my technical analysis. We're going to be looking at the liquidation heat map by Bitcoin so that we can start to see a market direction with the liquidations where they might seek out and the market makers really don't like to leave liquidation zones so that's what we're going to be uh that's what we're going to be paying attention to as well so ripple escrow unlock releases 1 billion xrp from november as xrp closes october red so the ripple escrow ripple escrow unlock schedule has released exactly 1 billion xrp for the month of november coinciding with the bearish close of october Market tracking resource whale alert spotlighted part of the latest escrow execution movements, which occurred across three uneven transactions at midnight today. Two of the three transactions involved the Ripple address RW23WY at midnight today. The Ripple escrow unlock schedule released 400 million XRP worth 203.7 million to this address. Simultaneously, the address also received Another batch of 100 million XRP valued at 50.94 million. Interestingly, the RW23WY has been inactive for a month, a pattern observed with Ripple's escrow accounts. Notably, the address witnessed the release of 500 million XRP last month and transferred all the tokens to another Ripple address 10 hours later. Meanwhile, amid the latest Ripple escrow unlock exercise, a second address RDQ received 500 million XRP worth 254.7 million from the third escrow execution transaction. This brought the total tokens released for November to 1 billion. And here's the whale unlock. Um, typical Ripple escrow unlock pattern resumes. At press time, both addresses RW2 and RDQ have retained their tokens with each holding a balance of 1 billion XRP. If the usual pattern continues, these addresses are likely to send out the assets hours later today Ripple locking back 800 million XRP and retaining 200 million for operational purposes. It bears mentioning that the Ripple deviated, that the Ripple deviated from this pattern earlier in the year when the escrow unlocks became erratic for a few months. During the period, some months witnessed the release of less than 1 billion tokens. However, the pattern appears to have stabilized over the past three months. Meanwhile, the latest Ripple escrow unlock execution comes at a time when XRP is battling to reclaim some of its previous losses. So XRP closes October with a 16% loss. Following a mild uptick to a high of 53 cents on October 29th, XRP witnessed a correction that saw it drop 3.71% over the two-day time frame as it closed October with a massive 16.74% loss, its largest monthly loss since April. XRP has gained a meager 0.98% this morning. 
Currently trading at 51.38 cents at press time. Despite the mild rise, the altcoin would need to, to record a push toward its 50-day simple moving average at 55.43 to flip its momentum to bullish. So that's a, that's a wide gap we still have. If we go to the crypto fear and greed index, it's too high. Generally, you're trying to buy in fear, not in, it's getting up towards extreme greed. We're up at extreme greed. 75 to 77 to me is still extreme greed. Dropped off by two points, which it'll pick up probably in the next 10 hours, but it's much too high if you're looking to open positions in the crypto market. You're looking for fear, not greed. Greed is when people are buying in when they probably should be selling and they're, they've got that extreme uh, measure of fear of missing out. So now with Ripple, we've had this artificial spike up after they released the one billion from escrow. So now when they lock them back up, surely they're gonna wanna buy them cheaper. So we'll continue to watch the way this moves. And then we've got the Bitcoin in the three month. This is the liquidation heat map and I'm gonna start showing this more and more. So if we go above, we don't have much liquidations anymore. Above us, the liquidations are drying out. We came over to an area where we had massive liquidations. We grabbed 111 million there. There's several hundred million. But now below, we just missed out, and I highly doubt we're gonna miss this. There's 460 million at 64,628. We've got 200 million at 65,500. If you come all the way down here, you can see huge liquidations down here. Lots of money piled up. The biggest set of money seems to be stored at right around here. There's there's a lot of money set up in this area. Between 62,500. Man, there's a lot of money here. There's over a billion dollars in liquidations if you come down to like 59,000. But if you look at this logically, we've got a big heat liquidation zone right here that I highly doubt Bitcoin's gonna ignore. There's 578 million in liquidations right now at 64,400. So if I had to guess, we're probably coming down there to that massive amount of liquidations at an uh, And we can see the price liquidations too that would be occurred. They were picked up on 1030 after the drop. So you had positioning and you can see if it would have come down a little bit lower, we would have liquidated $578 million worth of liquidations, but then we had a nice bounce up. Liquidated top side liquidations, which we had 400 million, 478 million at 70,000, 71,000, it dried up at 71.5. You can see there's a little bit of liquidations up here, about 100 million. But as you come back down, Bitcoin's got tons of liquidation down on the south side now. 593 million at 64,600. And it just continues to grow as well, the lower you go. So there's a lot of liquidations that we had between 64 and 59. So I'm looking for this liquidation to pick up. So that's, uh, that's the heat liquidation map. I figured I would show that. XRP right now. And that doesn't mean it has to happen at this exact moment on the dot because XRP looks like it's gonna retest some of these higher zones if it doesn't break down, which would be nice. After a drop like yesterday, it would be nice to start retesting the upper boundaries. Looks like we could have an inverse pattern and if it bounces off for XRP, it could bring us all the way back up to that 53.4 cents pivot point. And right now your support structure, as long as you don't lose. Ooh, that's an interesting one actually. 502 is low, but if you can hold this five, this is an inverse setup. If it holds this 515, this could be hot for a little bit today to start. So we're gonna have to pay attention to the technicals. Right now, we know Ripple released 1 billion from escrow. And uh, now they're gonna be locking up 800 million. So today's gonna be a very volatile day. We've got Bitcoin up about 596 points. We've seen the heat liquidation map. If it goes lower, We've got massive liquidations around 64 and 65K. And right now we're back testing the drop point. So we have to, we're gonna have to get up above 73,693 to invalidate this uh, bearish bias. And right now we're gonna have to be very, very observant and very, very careful here on this Friday. So pay close attention, I'm XRP Future Millionaire. If you got anything out of this, make sure to hit that like button. So YouTube does recommend this update. I'm gonna leave it at that. And uh, hopefully you guys will hit that like button so I can push my content. We've been struggling lately to get some more eyes on our content, but crypto as a whole, you know, hasn't been as popular as far as search patterns. So I'm going to need your help to hit that like button. I respect each and every one of you. So please show me that same respect, pay it forward by hitting the like button so that my audience can continue to grow. And this can be maximum amount of exposure. If you're looking to trade XRP or any crypto, 
video description below and our pinned comments. You've got Hotcoin, which allows us to not only derivatives trade, leverage, and spot, but you can buy XRP, the XRP Bitcoin pairing, and also Velo, which we're doing our weekly buys, not much, 50 bucks a week until it hits the bottom. And then uh, I'm using Hotcoin for that. And then uh, BitUnix is my A1. It has the lowest spot and leverage trading fees I found. Spot is similar on Hotcoin and BitUnix, but the derivatives market, the leverage, is a little bit cheaper on BitUnix, a little more transparent. They have XRP, they have HBAR, or um, they have HBAR, but they have Algo, they have IOTA, IOTX, and many more. So make sure you get it situated on the exchanges. And then if you do appreciate what I do, pay it forward by joining Tom's Army. I would love to see new members or the pay it forward mentality with YouTube Super Chats or just a way to support the program. Um, and I greatly appreciate it. So have a blessed day, everybody, and we'll touch base here very, very shortly.